This is the simulation file for the silicon on insulator taper that we looked at in the previous demo. Open the Material Explorer from the check menu. In the Material drop-down, the core material and four test materials are listed, since there are four test points set up. There are only two unique vertical slab profiles for this device, one with air, silicon, and glass, and another with just air and glass, so we would only need to use the core material and one test point to be able to plot the two effective materials that will be used in the simulation. The remaining test points give duplicate information. Click the Fit and Plot button to plot the core material's effective index over the source wavelength range, which is between 1.5 to 1.6 micron. Now plot the test material 1. The material data for both materials is constant over the wavelength range. Click the Close button to close the Material Explorer window. If I edit the solver region, I can see that the bandwidth is set to narrow band, which is why the material dispersion wasn't included when we plotted the material data. Set the bandwidth to broadband so the material dispersion will be included. I can also remove the extra test points that provide duplicate material data by reducing the number of test points to 1. Click OK. Now in the Material Explorer, I only see the core material and one test material. Replot the effective index of the core material. The material is now dispersive over the range, which captures both the dispersion of the material refractive index and the vertical slab mode. The material fit looks good, but you can change the fit parameters if needed. Tips for modifying the material fits can be found in the link below the video. If I want to look at the raw material data for the silicon or glass materials of the structure instead of the effective properties, I can do this by either removing the VAR FDTD solver region or by making a different solver region active. For example, I will add an eigenmode solver region from the simulation menu so the FDE solver region is now the active solver. When I check the Material Explorer, I can see the silicon and glass materials in the material list, and I can plot the material data. It's a good idea to check the material data of the materials used in the structure before adding the VAR FDTD solver region to ensure that the materials have data over the wavelength range of interest, so that you know that reasonable refractive index values are used in calculating the effective materials that end up being used in the VAR FDTD simulation.